Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Uh, I'm gonna keep that coma plant in mind. This is where we all camp, but Fred wants to show something first. Oh! Well, if we're gonna camp, this is gonna respawn anyway. Uh, just in case his show-offiness gets us into a fight, heal, and thin harvest. I was expecting to be told, turn back. I, I hope that I can go back and find out what it was that I wanted to be shown, and also camp. This is it. This here is the very center of the plains. Behold the Tuanella. Yeah, it is nothing but a large, deep, bottomless hole. It is... Astounding, I'll concede that. Where was my last quick save? Yeah. I don't know exactly what happens if I would have kept going there. Now, let's do this properly, just in case skipping it, or uh, moving on does skip this entire sequence right here. There's something up ahead that I want to show you before we set up camp. Oh, okay, nope, nothing's wrong. I actually am supposed to keep going. Here, I thought I just accidentally sequence broke. That does look like a boss fight. Oh, wait. No? Very curious, then, what it is that we're looking at. Fred always acts as if he was an oracle in this area. He's just a dewy-eyed twit. Yeah, we get it. It reeks of mana. But the mere thought of going down the tuna to Anella to acquire said mana is but a fool's errand, right? Uh. Oh, please, you should not even be thinking about it. <laughs> the last thing we need is another Frederick. Okay, now I'm wondering if I could have talked to Frederick before triggering this scene. Well, not entirely important. Whoa! Is this the infamous Tuanella? Yes, Ro, and this here is the reason why I wanted you to tag along. Can you make Sue dive into the Tuanella? Oh, that's a good idea. You got it, boss. Out of curiosity, how are you controlling that thing anyway? Commencing operation... Deep Dive! Hope you don't, like, wind up luring out a giant beast or something. I mean, I've already taken down an entire mountain, but, uh... I I'm not entirely confident that I can do that twice. And now we wait. What a colossal waste of time. And now we can add Sue to the list of unnecessary casualties by the Tuonella. Oh yeah! People died here. I 
I keep telling you, this abyss is nothing but trouble. Yeah, now that you remind me of the uh, previous mission here, let's not try climbing down. Can you feel the mana in the air, Lambda? But truly feel it? Close your eyes. Let your mind show you. Picture how much mana could be lying beneath our feet. Okay, so who is that in the lower right corner there? Assuming that's meant to be a person. Or is that Frederick and his vision? I know you can sense it. Everyone can. The air is filled with it. Even the flora and fauna in the plains have clearly mutated from the exposure to it. Imagine the possibilities if we could somehow descend the Tornella. We could build a new mana hill, our mana hill, a chance to start anew. Yeah, this is definitely a vision, alright. Tell you what, this would definitely be a place to brag about. Old Mana Hill's got nothing on this. That is our destiny, Lambda. I strongly believe it. It's the end of our problems. It is salvation. Yeah, I don't see this actually working out. It tends not to in these kind of stories. Sadly, no mana finder that has ventured down the Tuonella has ever returned. Convincing the others, especially Starkus, to carefully explore the abyss won't be an easy task, but it must be done. Well, why don't you do it? See, my issue here is... There were already missions here, and they ended poorly for reasons unknown. The only thing we can learn from those previous missions is it's a bad idea. Unfortunately, getting down there is only part of the problem. We need to survive until we figure out a way to do so. An interesting visual representation of the challenges we have faced so far. There's a Zane. There's... Oh, what is that goddess's name? Ilya. A bunch of the rare beasts we have fought so far. Along with a couple of bosses. And we need to fend off those who threaten our quest for salvation. Actually, no, none of these are rare beasts. I don't think any of them are rare beasts. Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, but I have faith in us mana finders. I 
I have faith in you, Lambda. Time and time again, you've defied all expectations. If there is someone that can lead us to salvation, then it must be you. The other settlers, and perhaps even Starkus, would be more open to the idea if you lead us. But what do you think, Lambda? Do you share my vision of salvation? No, not really. Ouch. I'm honestly very disappointed to hear you say that. I was really looking forward for your support. I guess it will be up to me then, unless you change your mind. I'm sure at some point the story will require it. It's getting late. Alright, so we didn't have a boss fight. I'm gonna harvest this now for the cum biscuits. And also, cum leaves. Considering all the decision branches in this game, I do wonder if there is any actual possible changes to the story I make with said decisions. So, I just had a bit of a thought. I wonder if there is any story reason why monsters spawned in the plains the way they did. Considering the planes are all soaked with mana energy and mana radiation and that sort of thing. I wonder if the mana is actually creating all of these monsters. I wonder what was the last thing Rose saw when attempting to descend the Tuonella. Maybe, just maybe, there may be a way down the Tuonella. I definitely did not expect you to actually start considering it. But I'm not going to waste my life trying to find out if there really is one. Still, you're thinking about it. That is something. Alright, battling all those monsters. Do I have enough to level up again? Yes! So this will give me one blessing point with which to do something. Do I want to use it now or wait? I probably want to save it again so that I know what to resist. Yeah. It's not a bad strategy at all. Especially since I can use that blessing point as soon as I know what I need. Otherwise, I think the next blessing point I spend will be to boost my attack. I would not mind hitting a little bit harder. Keep moving, Lambda. We're past the halfway point now. The halfway point of what? The journey to the giant mana crystal? Or just through the plains? I'll, I'll save that for the moment.
This mana stone looks different. In what way? You upgraded your emerald spear into a fine crafted mana spear. Alright then. You can now hold an additional coma leaf in your mana jar for a total of eight. That's gonna be helpful. Coma leaves now heal an additional 100 HP for a total of 535 HP per leaf. Wow. I, I appreciate this upgrade. So the mana spear, a spear with a hardened mana stone head. So amphibians, fish, and reptiles. Are we going to encounter more of those along the way here? For the most part, it seems that when we get an upgrade, it's not immediately usable. But instead, it's something I have to wait until later to see its benefit. See, I told you there was going to be a boss here. Somebody woke up in a bad mood. On your guard! Okay, bigger one of these guys. It's a boss, so definitely will be helpful to... ...in something myself. Eh, we'll try Thunder in this case. You are not an amphibian fish or reptile. You are most certainly a beast. So, Beast Slayer is... Oh, 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 actually. Let's... Flash you. Because I'm sure you're going to be all stompy stompy. Regen is not helpful. Do I have, like, magic for... Uh, for, um... Poison? I mean, I can drown you. Well, that's definitely effective. Let's also see if I can poison you. Yep, this is going to be some good damage. Blind has worn out. How much damage would you cause, I wonder? Okay, we got this. All those status ailments. I, I love when an RPG has useful status attacks. Especially against bosses. Good job, team. Did you hit your head in this fight, Starkus? This might be the first time I ever heard you pr praise teamwork. That's because you are a nuisance. I was mostly praising Lambda. Mostly Lambda? So a little praise from me? I'll take that. Remember, Lambda, keep heading west. I'm going back for more coma plants. If it's going to throw them at me... Let's just harvest these extras. I 
At the least, the extra coma biscuits are nice. How many are we up to? 93. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is set up camp to respawn them. Since we don't have to worry about enemies respawning. I mean, I'm right here at the campsite anyway. I'm very curious if there's a max amount of these Kuma Biscuits that I can actually carry. Okay, we're at six. Are we like at a hundred or something? Nope, max is 99. That should be plenty going forward. In fact, anytime I need to heal Scar, I should just use the those. Well, now for certain, harvesting this one would be a waste. Okay, so there's actually more planes to go. Drat. I was hyping up the next location of this game, and I don't know that I'll actually be able to do that in this stream. 